the World Health Organization blames literally millions of deaths every year on inadequate fruit and vegetable intake, almost as deadly as smoking. Right, so if we care enough about ourselves and our families to not want to die a horrific death from smoking, we should put the same effort into eating more fruits and vegetables. We should eat fruits and vegetables as if our lives depended on it, because in a way, they do. Why haven't many of us heard of this change from five a day to nine a day? Well, the federal government spends about 10 million a year to educate people about healthy eating. You know, candy corporations spend about twice that amount just launching a new candy bar. Okay, but why don't most doctors pass this information along? Because odds are your doctor never learned any of this. Less than a quarter of medical schools have even a single dedicated course on nutrition, and less than 6% of graduating physicians may have received any formal nutrition training. Out of thousands of hours of preclinical instruction, your doctor may have gotten an average of three hours of nutrition training. There was even a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that pitted doctors versus patients in a head-to-head -head test of basic nutrition knowledge, simple uh, true or false questions. Guess who won? The patients, right? People off the street knew more about nutrition uh, than their doctors. Yet you know, people still ask their doctors for nutrition advice, and what doctors may be telling their patients to eat may be killing them. Right? It wasn't too long ago that doctors were advising pregnant women to smoke cigarettes to, to help with morning sickness. Until doctors are taught more about nutrition, their advising us about diet may be physician-assisted suicide. There is one doctor, though everyone trusts, perhaps the most famous physician of all time, Dr. Benjamin Spock, always on the forefront of important social issues in the final edition of his book, the best-selling book in American history, second only to the Bible, he recommended that all children be raised on meat and dairy-free diets to prevent diseases like cancer.